Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good evening and hope you're all fully settled, comfortable, relaxed and enjoying the evening. If you thought we invited you here this evening just for you to applaud us, please think again. We receive applause from you on a constant basis sometimes seasoned with hard knocks and at all times outright adverse criticisms and fierce displeasure. We appreciate all of that. The totality of your feedback keeps us on our toes. Our purpose for inviting you here tonight is instead to allow us be the ones to clap for you and tell you how much you all mean to us. You see, the story of Tanners is like a farmer whose young son's dream was to own a farm full of oak trees. He went to his father to ask for an oak plantation. His farmer father gave him an acorn and said to him, that's all he's needed to own that plantation. By providence, John and I found ourselves in broadcasting and journalism. He was more certain from the onset of wanting to become a broadcaster. I wasn't. I wanted to be a lawyer, but found myself working for a television organization. Our paths crossed, we met, and the rest, they say, is history. It's not the romance I want to highlight this evening, even though that's another compelling account. But I can't give that out free of charge. You'll have to pay us for that. Maybe when we release the movie of the making of channels, you'll get to watch that. Back to my point. John and I shared a passion for Nigeria and Africa. We wanted a Nigeria, and we still do, which will be driven by civilization, where there will be comparable development, where people will uphold the sanctity of human life, where people will seek the common good, and where dignity of labor, respect for one another, equality, fairness, justice, and free enterprise will be the new culture. Just like the farmer gave his son the acorn seed, our own father saw our desire and gave us channels as a seed to plant and cultivate, knowing fully well that if it grows correctly, it could influence the culture of Nigeria and help to shape its future and destiny. As the saying goes, poor planted, Apollos watered, it is the Lord that gives increase. It's therefore proper to begin our recognition tonight by acknowledging the faithfulness and lordship of our Father in heaven, the almighty God, our maker and creator. He is our refuge and fortress. He has made channels a possibility and given us the grace to celebrate his 21st anniversary. Everyone here has been carefully selected either in their own personal capacity or as a representative of a community which has contributed in no small measure to the success we celebrate tonight. And for that, we say thank you to all of you. On a night like this, certain names stand out and we ask your support to join us, applaud such as we mentioned them. We acknowledge the enactment of the decree that deregulated the broadcast industry in 1993 and salute the courage of the then head of state, President Ibrahim Babangida, who effected the change. From hindsight, what he did was to indirectly abolish military coups as the, regulation, as the deregulation put a stop to the then usual military intervention on our radio waves, 
with phrases such as fellow Nigerians, I, Lieutenant Colonel, so, 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 and so. The country suddenly had more than one radio station. So if a coup was announced on one, it could be easily countered on another. That singular act brought about the cessation of military coups in Nigeria. It also brought about the entrance of private broadcasters, such as channels television, to the Nigerian media space. Thank you, General Babangida. We acknowledge all our past sets of state and presidents who are celebrating with us tonight. President Olusha Gwabasanjo, father of modern Nigeria. General Gowan, the quintessential go on with one Nigeria. And the likes of Lieutenant General Theophilus Danjuma, a very passionate admirer of China's television. We acknowledge the positive disposition of President Muhammadu Buhari towards a vibrant and free press in Nigeria. I haven't met him personally, but that's no news. I haven't met a lot of people either, because I tend to work behind the scenes. But the closest I've been to him was when we were editing the anniversary goodwill message he sent to channels television. I was touched by his simplicity, humility, and transparency. He's truly a father. Thank you, Mr. President, for your understanding of the role of the press and for allowing the opposition the right to their own opinion. Thank you. In 1991, two men, unaware of each other, were consistently on John's back. One was always telling him that he'd outgrown his job at the NTA and needed to leave. The other was always asking him to bring a business proposal for funding. After about 12 to 18 months, he succumbed to both pressure. With absolutely no strings attached, he then submitted a proposal to the gentleman asking for it. And true to his word, he secured a facility for the takeoff of the company that became the parent company of Channels Television. That man is Mr. Sam Uniko. Some of our IMB colleagues will, and the bankers here would recognize him. We acknowledge your help, Mr. Uniko, and salute you tonight. You did that without any demands. And we didn't even have a chance to say thank you before the facility turned bad. Thanks to the political and financial crisis in Nigeria at that time, brought about by the annulment of the June 12, 1993 election, which was perceived to be the freest and fairest. Tonight, again, we applaud Mr. Sam Oniko.